difficult transition to weather, but thankfully Laney Pope is here with some encouraging news to tell us a gorgeous Tuesday. We would take another one of these tomorrow for sure. Yeah, you actually going to get one. Oh, fact, terrific. A couple of them. I okay. think we have got a nice dry spell and not only will the skies be dry, but the air is going to be dry as well. Take a look out there today in Mount Airy where you can see beautiful blue skies, just a few clouds out there and really probably most noticeably is that less humid air. You noticed it the minute you stepped outside and maybe you're headed out to the ballpark this evening. You know it is the dash hosting the grasshoppers all week long and we've got great weather for it. Temperatures at first pitch close to 80 and then dropping off into the 70s this evening. We're at 81 right now. Greensboro and Winston 83 in Lexington. Mount Airy at 80 and Galax at 73. This is the number that really matters though. Dew points have dropped off behind that front into the 50s. Anything below 60 that is pleasant air. Boy, if you can get it in June, you are also lucky, so make sure you have some plans to get out. Here's the good news. Not just one day like this. We've got several days like this. Pleasant air for Wednesday and Thursday too. Great for outdoor exercise or walking the dog, doing a little hiking, anything like that. Even just sitting out on the back porch. Now it is going to get muggy by Friday and a bit steamy by the weekend. That's also when the high temperatures get back up close to 90 degrees. So in the meantime, we'll enjoy some low 80s and maybe enjoy some time by the pool. You don't have to worry about storms. Just make sure you've got the sunscreen because we've got lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 tomorrow afternoon in the triad, low 70s for the mountains. Notice along the coastline, they're dealing with the leftovers with this front, some showers and some thunderstorms, a severe thunderstorm watch that is out for our coastal communities. Look at the 12 hour forecast. Probably one of the numbers that's going to stick out to you is this one 59 tomorrow morning. That's going to feel great. And then those temperatures slowly climbing into the low 80s by late afternoon. The less humid air with us, a northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Should be in the mid to upper 50s when we start in the foothills. Also have that nice breeze and a high of about 81 tomorrow afternoon. Mountains have temperatures in the mid 70s by late tomorrow and actually low 50s to start. And I think we might even get some 40s in the mountains by Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, I should say Thursday morning. Now you can see a couple of fronts coming in here. And this is the reason the second front is going to lower the humidity. Both of those fronts are the reason we were able to keep Bill out over the Atlantic and now racing to the northeast at 36 miles an hour, just kind of hanging on barely to tropical storm status, expected to become extra tropical here in the short term, probably before the night is over. We'll have that adjustment. In the meantime, we're looking down at the Bay of Campeche near the coast of Mexico there. Slow development possible with this one. It may move north, may become a depression. A lot remains to be seen with this. A lot of the computer models sort of just have it meandering down there over Mexico and Central America. A couple of them do have it coming to the north and one of them would show a path that would bring in good rainfall for the Gulf Coastal States by Sunday into Monday and then potentially impacting us as well. Either way, either with or without that tropical system, I do think we have a good opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms in here on Father's Day. And yeah, it's going to be hot and humid by then as well. Got a high of 86 in the triad. Here's your seven day forecast. Some really comfortable nights and days ahead. The heat and humidity returning for the weekend. All right.